In 2021, a company known for their electric blue mopeds here in New York City launched what you're seeing right around me. A fleet of all electric Tesla ride-sharing vehicles accompanied with this public DC fast charging hub, what they're calling super hubs. Since then, fast forward to 2023, and the company has announced many more super hubs to come all across New York City, and they actually opened up a second one already here in Brooklyn, 15 stalls, 150 KW stations, and who better to speak to than with their CEO and co-founder, Frank Reek. Let's go. Frank, it's good to see you again. Yeah, same here, pleasure. Yeah. How's it going? Good, good. I'm happy to host you here in our Williamsburg location with our 15 fast chargers here, so welcome. Thank you, yeah, let's, uh, let's just dive right in. So I'm very curious, how are you actually going about finding these locations with such high power? Because that's been a common struggle for people trying to deploy fast charging infrastructure. I think with any growing company, it starts with the team. Mm -hmm. Getting the right mix of individuals with the right experience, because the task at hand is a hard one, like mm -hmm. you just described. Right? How do you build a site like this in a big, complicated city like New York? Mm -hmm. um, I think the second piece is attacking the right elements, uh, working with utilities, working with our own data sources, finding where is that excess power on the grid today? Mm -hmm. Where does it actually exist? Then you've got to work with the real estate partners. Where is there enough just physical space, real estate in the city to actually put a site like this? There aren't that many locations where that excess power overlaps with real estate, and then can you get a business deal done? Is it a rational landlord? Can you get the other permits you need from the Department of Buildings, Department of Transportation? So it's complicated stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of different variables, a lot of different people, companies, organizations kind of like meshing together to deploy a location like this. Yep. What is the most common challenge you're experiencing working with utilities or regulatory bodies to get a site like this operational? Nothing beats access to power. Power, yeah. In these dense cities, whether you're talking about a Boston or a New York or San Francisco, they all have very similar problems. Mm -hmm. Just because you have the right location or you want to put EV fast charging somewhere, that does not mean you can get access to power in the grid. Mm -hmm. And even if you can get access to power in the grid, maybe it'll take two, three, four years to get that power to you. Mm -hmm. So imagine talking to a landlord and saying, hey, I'd love to put chargers here, but in three years. Can I get free rent for three years? No. You can imagine how that conversation goes. So by far the biggest barrier is access to power. So then on the flip side, what is one of the biggest benefits of being here in New York and deploying infrastructure at scale like this that may not be occurring elsewhere in the United States? Um, I would say the biggest advantage for us building in a city like New York is it allows us to really accelerate our first mover advantage. Because where that extra power in a grid, where it overlaps with real estate at a site like this, it matches up with zoning, as I mentioned earlier, there's so few and far between. What Revel's doing right now is locking all those sites up mm -hmm. before the eventual fast mover, fast follower comes. Mm -hmm. right? So that's really exciting to us. I think it plays into our entire strategy, which is build before anybody else, build at scale, have the first network of fast charging in a city like this that's accessible, reliable, ubiquitous around the city. Yeah, that makes total sense. So then what do you think you learned from deploying this location that, wasn't, that didn't happen in the first location that you deployed? Because this is the second location. I would say one thing we learned is every single site has its unique engineering construction challenges. Mm -hmm. There is no perfect site, right? And we saw that from our first site, now our second site. I would say something more tangible would be something like Wi-Fi. Yeah. Our first site, we had Wi-Fi connected chargers. Realized, never again. <laughs> Every single site moving forward is going to be hardwired. Uh, the last thing we need is reliability issues due to Wi-Fi. Right? So that's just a tangible example, but many things like that. Yeah, that's a super small thing, but impacts in a huge way. Yeah. On to then ties into my next question, which is on reliability and uptime, because that is the most common issue yeah. with fast charging infrastructure. How are you ensuring reliable EV charging in your hubs? I think first you just have to admit to the reality. Mm -hmm. Things are going to break. So make sure you understand what parts are most likely to break and make sure you have them in inventory and also make sure you have the team on the ground to get that work done quickly. Mm -hmm. So it sounds simple, but it's hard to execute on all of that day in and day out. Yeah. Um, I think a, another piece would just be the OEM relationship. We've used Tritium now at our first site and now at our second site, continuing to deepen that relationship. Uh, you can't do anything in this industry alone. So you kind of named off a lot of the things I was going to probably, probably going to say my next question, yeah. which is if you were to tell any kind of advice to anyone do, doing what you're doing, what would it be? Make sure you hire the right team. Because 
But what we are doing is grounded in real estate. And real estate is a relationship business. And you need the relationships. Mm -hmm. That's not something you're gonna see in the spreadsheet, but it is very real. You need the relationships at the utility level, you need the relationships at the political level, you need the relationships within ownership of certain properties and landlords in general, you need that reputation. Yeah. So I would say it all goes back to team. The people. Yeah. Yeah, that makes total sense to me, yeah. what we keep hearing from people. People need people. <laughs> exactly. um, I appreciate it, I mean truly, if you can make it here in New York, I think you can make it anywhere, yep. doing what you're doing. It's been a pleasure.